Welcome to the flowerschool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, director of the Floral Design Institute, and today I'm here to share with you a Thanksgiving centerpiece. Now with the holiday coming up, we're all preparing, shopping, getting ready, but the reality is I can't cook. I don't want to cook. I love to eat, but my addition to the Thanksgiving table is always the flowers, so that's where I begin, and that's what I want to share with you. The base of the design is a 12-inch wreath ring. Now it's been pre-soaked with flower food. And then for stability and security, I used waterproof tape and wrapped it around, just all the way around, front to back. That way the foam can't shatter and fall off. Then to add visual value, just using a cake plate, setting the ring on top, and you're ready to design. To cover the mechanics, Magnolia leaves are so fabulous. The mahogany color, just pull them off. And then using a greening pin, secure it directly to the side. And then fish scale around the edges, just overlapping and pinning in place. To help hold the magnolia leaves in place and also add fabulous contrasting texture. The Oasis flat wire, I'm using the flat wire quarter inch in copper and I just wrap it around, pulling it, inserting it directly into the foam, bringing it, and then go around again. You're going to want to do this about two or three times so that you have several layers holding it in place and giving you that fabulous movement between soft and fuzzy texture and smooth and shiny. Using your smaller leaves, go back and repeat the same process, covering up the center foam as well so that everything will hide away, giving you a magical base for your flowers. The flowering is easy. It's a simple pave of my favorite autumn things. The bright, vibrant orange protea. Just breaking it down, removing any side debris, and then anchoring it right down into the foam. Maybe chrysanthemums, so vibrant and happy. Again, giving it a cut, inserting it. Even vivid red roses can be lovely. Tucking them in. Billy balls, one of my favorites. Clustering them because they're a little bit smaller. The crispetia will dry and look fabulous for so long. Maybe setting them over here, tucking them down in. A little bit of yarrow for autumn texture. And continue around till you cover the surface. By grouping the flowers, Roses clustered together, Leucospermum protea clustered. It guides your eye around. And then taking the chrysanthemums and letting them be a unifier, a bit here, a bit here, and coming over this direction, that bright yellow, then the very, very, very bright yellow of the billy balls or the crispadia, bringing them in to add that touch of vibrancy. Even going back and adding more with the original ones, coming up a little higher, Coming in, maybe out towards the front over here for some bright yellow. And then one of my favorites as well, the Hypericum. They add just such a wonderful little cluster of color and that deeper look, cutting it down and tucking it in. As a final touch, I want to add just a little bit of softness. And the stem dyed wax flower is so fun. The bright orange again looks like autumn. Just breaking it down into smaller bits and tucking it into the last few holes that might exist to add a little bit of light accent. Just filling in. You can come a little taller if you'd like. Out to the side a bit. Just kind of nestling it in between the other stems. Then coming back to Nandina, which I foraged from the garden. It's such a wonderful plant. 
and just letting it come out, bringing that mahogany color from the magnolia up into the arrangement. As you prepare for Thanksgiving with your friends and family, you'll find more inspiration on our website, flowerschool.com. If you have questions, want to know something, or just chat flowers, you can reach us through the website or by telephone at 503-223-8089. And of course, I'd love to see what you create. Send me a photo at my email, leanne at floraldesigninstitute.com, or better yet, post it on social media and hashtag Floral Design Institute so we all can see. Now it's your turn. Happy Thanksgiving. Almost. It's just around the corner. Have fun and do something you love.